Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going over the full collection from Kaleidos, the Flower Punk collection. This was sent to me in PR. I got it last night and I was like, oh, I have to play with this thing first thing tomorrow morning and here we are. <laughs> Look at this though. Look at this dresser. You can purchase this dresser all on its own, which I think th they call it a dresser. I'm just, I think of it more as like a jewelry box, but let's look at what is inside this little cute thing. So the top, you lift up and you have a mirror and then on the inside, there's a coloring book, which it's a plain one, so I like that because I take a lot of notes and whatnot. That is in here. And then I think these are temporary tattoos. <laughs> My kids actually really, really like that. And I, um, I have two girls, teenagers, but they love the Kaleidos packages. The last few that I have gotten, they have been putting their art supplies and everything. And this time, I think they'll be able to put the jewelry in this one, but I'm keeping this. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> and then if you open up the second drawer, we have two cloud paint collections. And then the third drawer, this is the blue softening agave lip mask and then the palette that we will be using today to achieve this look. Let me actually show you each of the products and the swatches, give you guys the information, and then we'll get into the look. The star of the show is the Flower Punk palette. I love the packaging on this. I mean, I love Kaleido's packaging anyway. The ones that they have, the Futurism palettes, oh, I love those, but this is really cool. This comes off, it's magnetized, and then, so you have your mirror here and then the palette is here. I like that because you can literally just put your palette down and then you have your mirror in your hand. I think that is so much better. But here are the shades. It's ultra pigmented, highly blendable, and it has deep hued mattes, vibrant color shifting and texturally diverse shimmers, highly versatile and intuitive to use, soft and creamy yet highly adhesive, no creasing, vegan and cruelty free. Then we have two different sets of the Cloud Lab Lip Clay. The darker set right here is Flora Noir and it retails for $35. The shades include Cactus Flower, Mahogany, Agave, and Dahlia. And then I'm wearing one from this collection, which is the Sand Castle set. The shades being Adobe, Dune, Terra, and Sienna. And last but certainly not least, this is the Blue Agave Softening Lip Mask and it retails for $8. The description reads that it's a highly moisturizing lip mask formulated with shea butter and agave leaf extract. You're supposed to leave it on for at least 30 minutes so you get that really nice moisturizing effect. You can use it before you apply, like I did my lipstick, or you can use it overnight, however you like. But uh, yeah, this is a, uh, this is actually really, really nice, which I'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and get into this look and then I will give you guys my thoughts. I'm gonna start this look off with the matte pinky shade on a Wayne Goss number 19. I'm gonna take it right in the inner corner Blend it upward. I have my eyes primed, but they are not set. I use the By Mario little palette. It is set right underneath my brow arch, but not on my lid or crease. Dipping in once more. I want this to be just a little bit more intense. Making sure to bring it all the way down on the inner corner. And then I'm stopping almost halfway. MAC 221 Mint Fever. I'm going to apply this shade on the middle part of the crease. First, just going back and forth motions because this is darker than the last shade. And then I'm slowly going to blend upward. Gonna mix slightly into that pink. On yet another MAC 221, I'm going in with Earthship. I'm first gonna place this on the outer corner and then work upward. Again, mixing into the last shade. I'm 
And then I'm taking chlorophyll on a Yano series number eight, very lightly going around the edges of those shades. Not around the pink, but just the greens. Refer 21, dipping into Aloe Cove. I'm gonna place this on the center of the lid. Be careful, this shade is very crumbly. I'll show you a picture of it later, but just touching it with this brush, it crumbles. So I'm kind of stamping it and pressing it onto my lid and lightly going over the edge of the last shade. So I get a blend and kind of pushing up into the crease slightly. On another refer 21, I'm gonna go in with the pink one, Stained Glass. This one is crumbly too. Not as crumbly as the last shade, but still crumbly, nonetheless. I played around a little bit on the other eye to see, like with my finger, and I used the shades like a little bit wet, like slightly dampened. It was a little bit better, but not as much as I had hoped. So I'm gonna do that now. Aloe Cove Wet on the Refer 21. Just gonna go right over where I placed it. It does help with the fallout though. You're not gonna get as much fallout. Same thing with stained glass. No additional product on the MAC 221 with the deepest shade. I just wanna add a little bit more depth, but I don't wanna pick up any extra color. Refer 26 and Nouveau, placing this right along the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with Sun Gazer Wet on a Bristles Beauty PO6 RF, placing that on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go add on inner rim liner and mascara. The whole time I was doing my makeup as well as doing my eyes, I had on the Blue Agave lip mask and it feels so good. At first it's kind of cooling and then that kind of dissipates and then I just wiped it off and my lips feel amazing. So this is a, this is a hit right here. But now I have wiped that off. I put on a liner. I used Natasha Denona's Natasha liner. This is Dune. Yeah, nice saturation. I really like the way this feels on the lips. It feels airy, like there's nothing on my lips. It's not drying at all. It's a very lightweight formula. I like the color. I like the feel. I'm, I'm digging on it. I'm digging on it just a little bit. All right, let me start off with this palette right here. There's definitely some pros and cons. I am a huge fan of Kaleidos. I absolutely love them. This is not something that I am used to seeing with the brand. They are very crumbly. As you will see in this picture right here, this is after I did the look and I was not digging in them at all. The mattes are kind of powdery, that does not bother me. I have a lot of formulas that are a little bit powdery, but they go on well, so I, that, that doesn't bother me. I feel like the mattes performed well, but the shimmers, especially these two, this one wasn't as bad, the gold, but these two right here are very, very crumbly. That is a big con in my opinion but everything else is nice. So it's like a 50-50 palette for me. This section right here reminds me of the Melt, which one was that? Gemini, the Gemini palette. Overall, I like this, but I don't, I'm not in love. I am not in love because I feel like, ugh, let me just dump this. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this again. <laughs> I don't like the crumbliness that bothers me and I will leave a note at the end of this to see if I have any fading issues especially when it comes to these shades I don't think I will but it's a possibility so this is this is not my favorite Kaleidos palette it is one of my favorites in terms of colors and I really like the packaging the packaging is bomb I love that that reminds me of like I have Danessa Myrick's I 
was it uh, Makeup Forever that did that as well, or Kevin Aqua? I don't remember, but I know that I have Danessa Myricks. I love the presentation. They are so top notch with their presentation, and the colors are beautiful. The Agave, Blue Agave Lip Mask, love this. Initially, when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, you're gonna have to dip in and go a little harder. You know, have, sometimes you have to press because it's a thicker formula. This is not like you just touch it and it's very shiny. It's very hydrating. I love the cooling sensation. It's not a stinging, plumping sensation. It's just a cooling sensation that goes away and then your lips are just so, so soft. So I love this. And I'm not having any issues with this. Let me see. Not too much came off. This is really nice. It feels really, really good. I'm very impressed. I am impressed. Overall, I like this collection. I really like the little box and everything. I'm going to give it to my daughters, of course, but it's still, they really did such a great job with the just presentation is everything. <laughs> but you guys let me know what you think about the look, how it turned out. What do you think about the shadows? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.